Also, to be kind of harder, harsher on the three players, um, they gave you a uh, breathing meter. So if uh, the breathing meter completely depletes, you have to go back for air. So um, you kind of want to swim towards the top every now and then to get full on air, just so you don't, you know, fail the mini game. I'm doing pretty well though. As long as Peach, oh no, Peach died. That sucks. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. No, 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 no. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I should be able to win this now. All right, I win another mini game for the team, and I'm doing very awesomely for the mini game star, I must say. And if I remember correctly, the battle mini games they don't count towards the. Uh, minigame star, so don't worry about, like, if one player happens to win a luck-based battle game and gets, like, 70 coins, uh, I'm pretty sure those won't add up to the minigame star, so don't worry about that. Which is a good thing, because sometimes the battle minigames can be bullcrap, if you ask me. Okay, Peach finally gets that star. It took her long enough. And I am the only player right now who doesn't have a star. Hopefully that changes very soon. Okay, thankfully I'm going up there. I don't know, there, there might be a few people ahead of me though. Actually, one thing I could do is I could try to go for the pink boo and steal the star or something. I know I said I don't usually use stars, but still, in this case, when I'm so far behind, it might actually help me. Anyways, what Luigi is using right now is a slow shroom, I believe. Um, it's either a slow shroom or a sluggish shroom. I didn't actually read what it said, but basically what those do is it makes the uh, dice block go a lot slower. And when they go slow like that, you can actually kind of choose how many spaces you want to move. Those orbs are particularly helpful for the solo mode playthrough of the game. Those will be your best friends. And I'll explain why later on. Okay, so here is the chance time of this game. Hopefully I get a star from this. No, I get 20 t coins, the biggest bitch in this game. Ah, uh, stupid Luigi, why would you do that? Seriously, why would you do that? I know you have a crush on Peach because Mario's dating her, but still. Okay, I'm not doing very much at all here. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. Oh well, let's do another four-player minigame, Tricky Tires. Uh, I don't like the I don't like the controls for this minigame, but it's not that hard. Avoid obstacles and race to the goal in your six-wheeled vehicle. Reach the goal first to win. And for this minigame, you control the left tires with the control stick, and you control the right tires with the C stick. And uh, it's kind of wacky, but once you get the feel for it, it's really not that hard. So let's see. Okay, there we go. Tilt it. No, 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 come on. No, no, okay, no, come on. Okay, that's not good. Okay, I'm doing a little better. Hopefully I can get through this swamp without it coming back down. Oh, no, no, I got stuck on the salt shaker. Damn it! Okay, that's not good. Why did I get stuck on a salt shaker? Why? Ah, I pushed Luigi into the finish line. What? He's turning around! Did I just win? Finish. I just won, and Luigi was right there. Luigi went through the obstacle, and then he turned around for some reason. Okay, that's hilarious. I love when the Mario Party AI does some stupid stuff like that. It's hilarious. And, of course, it gives me minigame victories, which is also a good thing. Here is a... Okay, good. I thought that was a trap space for a second, but it's not. Um, that is a spiny orb. I believe if you land on that space, uh, whoever lands on it will lose coins, obviously. I don't know if they actually give the coins to Yoshi or not. 
or give the coins to the player who laid the orb. In Mario Party 5, it didn't do that, but in this game, since they actually have character spaces, it might actually be different, so... Again, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that it might actually give the coins to the player. Again, I'm not completely certain about that, though. I know, I probably should have done more research on this game before I actually started playing it, but whatever. Uh, okay. And Luigi's gonna use the Thwomp Orb. He probably should have put that in front of him while he's going for the star. That way, if he missed it, Yoshi could hit that and not move very far. But that wasn't a problem. Luigi still got the star. Which gives him his second star for the second time. So, if I remember correctly, Yoshi has three stars, Luigi has two, Peach has one, and I have zero. That sucks. And I have the most coins, too. It's because I'm eating crappy dice rolls all the time, it seems like. Okay, I can still get this. Yeah, I can get this. I have to go over a few spaces, though. If I get a 10, that'll really help me. But a 3 is not going to help me. 3 is the last thing I need, actually. Oh, well. I can still... Oh, I know. Peach is going to go for it next. Okay, this really sucks, because I can't make any movements here. And I can never get a good di dice roll, which really, really sucks. Okay, here we have Death Rafts. Jump onto the floating platforms, but be careful not to fall into the raging river. Whoever reaches the goal first wins. And then don't stay on the platform for too long or you'll go over the waterfall. And there's also going to be some obstacles on the rafts as well. This is basically the modernized version of Platform Peril from Mario Party 1 and 2. If you couldn't tell. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Whoa. Okay, that sucks. They jumped on me, so I fell off. Anyways, here's also a game that features a day or night difference. Uh, I believe if you play this game in the uh, night, the spinies will actually be uh, potaboos. And for those of you who don't know your Mario logic, potaboos are basically fireballs, so... Yeah. Watch out for those while you're going through the course. I got screwed, though, because they decided to jump on my head for some reason. They thought that was a good idea, for some reason. Don't ask me why. Okay, and apparently when it's nighttime, something happens with the tree on top of the world. I believe that happening space uh, varies from night and day. I believe the tree is a, a nicer tree during the daytime, and is an evil tree during the nighttime. Hopefully someone lands on that space so we can actually see what it does. And of course, Peach is going to get a star. The game is almost halfway over and I still don't have any stars whatsoever. Which is just lame. Okay, good. I'm actually going for that. Aw, oh, damn it, I have to hit Luigi's space, though. Oh, well, it was a Thwomp Orb, so that's fine. As long as I don't roll a 1, I should be okay. Although, now that I say that, I'm probably gonna get a 1, knowing me and Mario Party. That's another famous moment for me in these playthroughs. Okay, uh, Luigi is going to tickle the tree's nose again. I can't believe I actually failed that. I'm usually a pretty good button masher. Okay, still, they can't get anything out of him. That's weird. And I get a three again. That sucks. I can't do anything in this. Okay, I really hope I get this next star because I need it. Also, kind of like how battle minigames are randomly assigned to four-player minigames, 
Uh, the same thing happens with 1 vs. 3 and Mike minigames. So yes, you can get Mike minigames in a, a party mode. Okay, we have Dust Till Dawn. One player has to clean a small room while the other three uh, team up to dust a huge room. So yes, yeah, so you just move and dust. That's all you do. Your computer players can either help you or hinder hinder you in this map. Okay, so I'm gonna stick to this side. Yoshi is too, apparently. Okay, get out of my way, Luigi. Come on, this is all we have left. Wait, there's one more. Oh, Yoshi's getting up. Okay, good. Damn it, Peach won! Damn it, Yoshi, you should have gone a lot faster. 